Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Sonic Omens. Previously Sonic and Tails were chasing down Eggman in Area 99 and they continued their pursuit of Eggman in the White Jungle. How the White Jungle is even in this is beyond me, but that will be explained further in the episode. Tails, can you find where the Emerald Signal is coming from? I'm now checking the signal, Sonic! And here we go with White Jungle, and going. as many of you may recall, um, this What's got that? blown to Kingdom Come in Sonic Adventure 2 when uh, the detonator set off, and the entirety of Prison Island went up in smoke, White Jungle included, which was Shadow Stage back in Adventure 2, so this has absolutely no reason to be here, period, and also uh, I'm trying to get this red ring up here. Here, yeah, so I don't know why there's a spring there, but because he can make it back just fine without it. But, anyways, um, yeah, as many of you may recall, White Jungle, New Forest, um, all of it, um, all of it was blown to Kingdom Come. So, why this is here, I have no clue. And you can spare me the usual line of. I'll be there soon. Yeah, we'll talk about that big ass tree later. Yeah, but anyways, um, spare me the usual line of everything is canon because I saw that tweet and yeah, no, it's fucking stupid. To say that everything is canon is nothing more than just being lazy on Sonic Team's part for managing this um, skeleton of a series. Another red ring. So um, yeah, mine jungle. I I, I don't get it. Especially when this would mean that there would be a temple near the prison island, but again, you know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it makes zero sense at all. So, yeah, I'm gonna get Sonic this. Uh, first time setting foot on my jungle. Okay, usually being Green Forest, uh, doing all this crap. Like, seriously, that quote, everything is canon, blasphemy, impossible, like, it is impossible for everything to be canon. Feeling good. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, my jungle, um, you've seen the one to Dimension 2, then you practically know what's gonna happen here. So, yeah, nothing new here, but... Here we Again, this is Sonic's first time being in White Jungle because usually he's in the forest, bungee jumping with the vines on these big ass trees here. Um, I will say that um, grabbing the vines to zip across, it takes a little while to wind up. I don't know why you stopped there. And I don't know why. Like, why does it take like a moment for the vines to just zip them through because that's enough time for these robots to get a uh, a sure shot and it's kind of unfair so again I remember the vines from Richard 2 being way faster like that like that's just so slow and that's not the processing that's just the vine also fool me once Fool me twice. And behind crate number three, another Eggman capsule. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you too. Almost as if they knew there was cheap in land to put in those uh, ring caps on there. Another red ring. Uh, I am not going to go for a red ring. I, if I just see one, I'm just going to be like, oh, there's a red ring. I'll grab that. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about right there. And Sonic clipped through the ground. Joy. Also, earlier, um, on the first Vine zipline, um, he may or may not reach on the other side, and he'll just plummet to his death, which is also kind of bullshit. Eggman's robots are already inside the tree. But where's Eggman? The Emerald Signal is coming from the top of the tree. I can't fly up there. Don't 
worry, Tails. I'll find the emerald before these bad nicks. <laughs> oh, great. Water. Lovely. Yes, Let's water go. is lovely. You want to know what's not lovely? This whole fucking level. Seriously, I looked at multiple gameplay footage for this. People, I'm a fan of tree levels, and this is not one of them, especially when you're playing with a speedy platforming character. Like Sonic here. Um, tree Palace, very infamous, and I'm inclined to agree with that. This is not how you design a tree level, and we'll get to the problems with it as he makes his way up, but fair warning. Um, this is where the quality of the Sonic levels takes a massive nosedive. This, this might as well be a crater in the road. Not a bump in the road, a crater. So, the first problem that you're going to run into is the overall progression of this uh, level here. Should Sonic fall to the point where he has to climb back up, that's all the way down. All the way. All the way down. And he has to climb back up with that, uh, with that tree branch with the dash panels on it. And as he's climbing up, um, it gets more and more perilous than it needs to. And you may have noticed all these blue spots here. Those are platforms. This is the main problem with this stage here. That was a close one. Oh, trust me, you bastard. You're gonna have more close ones the moment you keep climbing this fucking tree. Um, these platforms have no reason to be here because aren't the tree branches enough even so much as um, just grinding on branches or just uh, like, just <sighs> like, again, I'm a fan of tree levels, okay? The giant tree from Super Paper Mario. Inside the Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time. Deep Jungle from Kingdom Hearts. I would prefer Deep Jungle than to go through this because at least in Deep Jungle, you know, there are things to do. You know, vines to swing off of. You know, trees to grind on to. Okay, Monkey Heartless to fight. This, this right here. This honestly doesn't cut it because these blue platforms. It's just another way of saying, okay, playing as Sonic, a high speed character, supposedly, and he has to make these series of jumps. If he screws up, down to the bottom he goes. And I'm just looking around to see if there are any platforms to to uh, to step on and stomping is pretty much essential just to regain footing for, for something like this to be in a series like this like it does not add up at all and then he's gonna hop on all these uh, dash rings too and I'm pointing the camera down just to get a better view no one that people hate this stage and I can see why this is not how you design a tree level at all in fact, uh, there's even a part where um, the voice actor of Eggman had trouble with it. He hates this stage, and the people in Ouroboros Studios were pretty much bullying him. Picking on him, you know, calling him names on, what, Discord was it? Like, I, I, this is the first time I'm going to say it, too. This is a game that was made out of spite. That is what I categorize Sonic Omens. It is a fan-made Sonic game that was made out of spite. Yeah, here's the part I was talking about uh, up ahead. Where it is easy to fall off the side. And like I said, this is a tree stage. What do you think is going to happen if he falls off this branch here? And I'm not even trying to go full speed here because that is a mistake 
bound to happen. Yeah, this part right here. If he falls off, good luck climbing back the fuck up. See, just like that. Barely just hanging on here. Like, I honestly prefer the Giant Chief from Super Paper Mario over this. Because at least... That has something going on. Thank God. Thank God I did not spend too much time with this shit more than I need to. This is not how you design a chew level, people. Get a pen and paper, take fucking notes. You want to piss people with a giant fucking chew level? This is how you do it. Fuck this. The ancient ruins are inside this tree? Hmm. That reminds me of something. Huh? What's happening? Water is rushing in from everywhere. No time to stand still. Time to run. Tails, get over here. The tree's flooding. I'm coming, Sonic. All right, waterfall chase. Yay! I kind of like this, aside from uh, a few problems. So, uh, blue aura on the edge of the screen, that's water coming in, and if it gets too close, um, Sonic drowns immediately, so he's gonna keep his boot stuff to run away, which is simple, because these gates that he's running in will give him boost, also like that part right there. But anyway, um, here's the problem right here, he just, yep, and again, and again, until finally, there you go. I don't know why or how that happened, but it did. So yeah, the gates, uh, they provide boosting so that Sonic can run away effectively. And I kind of like that because it's a way to um, keep the boost gauge up. But I recall from, I think, Sonic Generations where it is possible for the boost gauge to go over the limit. So Sonic has more boost than he needs, so... Yep, just run down this uh, tree here and he should be all good, avoiding rocks. Short and sweet. I will take this over the fucking tree palace any day. Alright, heads up, this is where the performance drops again. I said it once and I'll say it again. Optimize your settings in both the game and NVIDIA. I cannot stress that enough. So that way this doesn't happen to you. Like the other cutscene was just fine. I don't know what's going on here. The Chaos Emerald! That's a diamond, you idiot. The perspective has changed. Now for the story, now you start going to it instead of doing this wild ass goose chase against Eggman. <laughs> I'll get the best result if you stop annoying me. Yeah, same here. Anyway, yeah, I'm playing as a somewhat interesting character. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog, aka Al the Edge, as people like to say. And uh, he's quite an interesting one, this um, this hog here, because 
Everyone knows about Shadow's deal. He's the one that has all the stupid Dragon Ball abilities. And he is going to put that to good use. He has a total of four uh, Chaos abilities. He has the Chaos Spear, which is like a range attack that he can charge to lock on enemies. Not say lock on, but no, he, you know, just, yeah, like so third person just like that so that's chaos spear I wish you would use that more often instead of you know fucking guns or you know any other method you know dude you got chaos spear so do something with it okay I wish he uses his abilities more often because and I said that's in the diatribe for someone who is called the ultimate life form, you would think that he would use his, make good use of his chaos abilities, and that's what we're seeing here. Okay, finally, right? So yeah, right around here, that was the chaos dash. So that kind of acts like a, you know, what it does is a dash, but depending on how it's used, it can be used either vertically to gain more height or um, horizontally to get more distance. Chaos control. And right about here is Chaos Control. You know, the one that actually fucking makes sense, I guess. Uh, this slows down time. <laughs> This machine really telling me where to go. Yeah, and the machine is telling him where to go so he doesn't get lost. Just... Oh my god, Shadow is such a prick sometimes, I swear. But yeah, uh, Chaos Control slows down time to make um, progressing through obstacles much easier. So yeah, um, him having abilities like this, thank God, because this is the shadow that we could have had in Sonic 06 or Shadow the Hedgehog, but no, we just get this, um, we just get this guy, you know, using guns with piss poor chaos, um, attacks in 06. I don't, like, gameplay wise, 06 has done shadow dirty. Like, I don't get why. He doesn't utilize his chaos abilities like this. And the only time we see him using his chaos abilities to the fullest is in fucking Sonic Chronicles. Like, why? Chronicles is... So in this section here, uh, Chaos Blast, and this is a damn good Chaos Blast. Takes up a lot of energy because I didn't realize that the um, I didn't realize that the meter was nearly empty. And uh, with Chaos Blast, you know it does what it says. It uh, blasts foes chaotically. And unlike the piss poor chaos blast that you get in Note 6 or um, the weak chaos blast from Shadow, this one actually gets the job done. Like, I'm not blowing smoke here. This is what Shadow should have been back in 2005, back in 2006. And it's a shame that, you know, we don't get that. And it takes a fucking fan game to get to where Shadow needs to be. Also, I'm lost, and yeah, the gun trap from Adventure 2, because trying to figure out where the gate is. Also, they're watching him, so I like that. Too good of detail. Going the wrong way. I think it was right above him, but. Yeah, where was this Shadow all those years ago? Okay, like, this is Shadow fully realized 
with all these chaos abilities. Like, yes, this is the shadow that people deserved. Like, I don't know about want it because didn't did anyone think about Shadow how he could utilize his abilities in Shadow? Or in 06 for that matter, because 06 especially. You know, dare I say that he, he should have been playable in more games other than, you know, Adventure 2, Hero, Shadow, 06, and a bunch of spin offs. I don't count episode Shadow from Forces because fuck Forces. But this is the best in, in, um, yeah, incarnation of Shadow. And again, it took a fan game, a fucking fan game, to get this. Like, what is it gonna take for Sonic Team to fully utilize a character in their movesets? Like, you look at Sonic and how he utilizes his moveset. You look at Lost World, you know, you look at um, 06, you look at Heroes, and there's potential for a moveset. The simulation is over. Please proceed to the conference room. But with Shadow, it's like they're fucking brain dead. He has all these chaos abilities and he doesn't make good use of them. Like, Sonic Team, man, what the fuck are you doing? The balance of chaos is upset. Sonic doesn't cope with the Emerald's protection. Although he dared to say the opposite. Professor Eggman believes that he can test our patience. According to our soldiers, Eggman has attacked Sector W. Stop him and deliver the Emerald to us. We'll take care of the rest. Do not fail me, Shadow. And this is going to do it for episode 3 of Sonic Omens. So yeah, please stay tuned for the next episode where we get to see Shadow side of the story and see how interesting it is to compare it to Sonic's. So, until then, look forward to it.